Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. So today we'll be reacting to one of the suggestions. We'll be checking out if Jesus didn't die, then what happened? Sheikh Ahmed that it did that. Yes, Sheikh Ahmed did that. Guys, pardon me if I didn't get the name correctly, but today's video is actually sponsored by Koei, guys. Guys, they are one of the best street wears out there. Guys, guys you're gonna get 50% off using my coupon code, guys. Check the link down below, guys. I don't really want to hype it, but you need to check that store out. Guys, let's get straight into this. Thank you, my sister. Please. I thank you that I have the privilege to be here tonight to listen to you. I haven't read the Quran. You stimulated me. Perhaps I should read the Quran. But I would like to know what you believe with the ascension of Jesus. Do you believe that he actually lived? So then what happened to Jesus if he lived, if he did not die, if he lived? No. The Quranic ayah, the verse that I read to you, the last expression I said was Bal But Allah took him up to himself We Muslims believe that God Almighty took him up Saved him from that ignoble death and nakedness of the cross Because the people on the cross were absolutely naked They didn't respect you to put a little loincloth around the man The messenger of God You say the son of God Naked and bare before the world You know flies buzzing around him it's, no, no, no. God Almighty didn't allow that to happen to his servant his messenger, Jesus, God saved him and took him up. And I say, he's coming back to just you. I'm sorry guys, but I need to say this. We actually are the same. Like, if you think of it, like, I think there's a little misunderstanding, but we believe in the same thing. Oh, we believe he's gonna come back. Like, this actually made my day, you guys. Like, I said before, I want to go through this journey. Like, see your, like, see your worldview about this. And it's amazing. Like, I love what I'm doing now, guys. I feel I'm fulfilling a part of myself. Guys, let's get back into this. He is coming back. Yes. To do what? You know, we Muslims, we believe and we claim that Islam is the culmination, the fulfillment of all of God's revelation to me. All true guidance, all guidance is given to us. We don't have to learn anything new from Jesus or Moses or Muhammad anymore. Whatever God wanted to give, he's given it to us. So what does Jesus come and do? I says, no, he's coming along to rectify you. And he's telling you in the Gospel of St. Matthew, he says, many will say to me on that day, in his second coming, on his return, and many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name do many mighty works? They're going to ask Jesus, didn't we do all these things? We build hospitals. You know, orphanages, and we look after, after the aborigines, and we look after the Maoris, uh -huh, and we look after the Indians. Oh, yes, yes, all these things we did. Uh, we educated all these fools, you know, we civilized them, we cultured them. Yes, 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 we did all the things. So, did we not prophesy in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name do many mighty works? What does Jesus say to that? He said, I never knew you. Yeah. He said, Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. You are evil doers, you are evil mongers. Amazing. You who are working in the name of Christ, looking after the lepers, looking after orphans, Mother Teresa, wonderful work she's doing. By God, I tell you. You know, I, I bow my head down out of respect for her. All the wonderful things you people are doing. The way you look after the animals. You know, animal conservation to preserve life. Ooh, fantastic things you are doing. But for human beings as well. What, what you are doing. And that's what you're going to say. To Jesus. I'm asking the Christians. Answer me. You know why? You know why? Because you call him Lord. He is not your Lord. He is not your God. That's the reason. That is the reason. He's telling you, come, come, come. I'll teach you how to pray. And pray like this. And he puts the words in your mouth. 
like a little baby, like a little child, praying like this. Oh, our Father, which art in heaven, our Father, which art in heaven, including Judas, because Judas was in the group. He's the father of everybody, the sinner and the saint. He's the creator, Lord, cherisher, sustainer. Call him Father, okay. Oh, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Where did he say the Father of Jesus Christ in heaven? Oh, Jesus Christ, my Lord in heaven. Where? He said, this is how you pray, but you have forgotten that. You're worshipping him instead of worshipping the Father. Uh, did you say, the lady, the lady, did you say you got the Quran? You have a Quran? Yes, my brother, this will be the last question. Thank you. Dada Ji, I will respect you. I am not here to impress you or fight with you. I want to be a great deal. Thank you. Um, I know you have understood me. I have spoken in the Urdu. Um, the only thing I want to ask you, one small question. Firstly, I will say that you are not going to be a good person. My Hindu, beautiful. <laughs> uh, you said that, uh, that Christ uh, died, uh, lived uh, for one and a half days, according to what I read in the Bible during my school days, was uh, he rose on, was it on the third day? He said three days on the third day. He rose on the third day uh, and, uh, and ascended into heaven. Uh, but according to your country, I'm British born, but I'm not Indian, born Indian. According to uh, your country uh, of origin, the people claim there that Christ lived there with them after uh, rising uh, for 15 years or something and built St. Thomas Church uh, or enhanced that, I don't know. Um, what have you, what sort of comments do you have, Daladi? No, you see. The Christian is not making an issue out of that. That Jesus went to India and he started the St. Thomas's church. St. Thomas did the St. Thomas church. Why would Jesus go and create a St. Thomas church? He was created a St. Jesus church. It doesn't make sense. You see? But now, be as it may, be as it may, our idea is that look, nobody dies for your sins. Nobody carries your burden for you. You, according to the law of karma, what you do, you pay for. If you have done well, you earn a reward. If you have done evil, you pay the punishment. That is also Islam. You see, that we have to pay for our own sins. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The one that sins will perish. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. The Bible says, son means father Adam. We, the son, we will not pay for what Adam did. Poor Adam, he made a mistake and he paid the full price. He paid the full price. We, his children, will not be questioned. Guys, I felt Adam, we actually pay for Adam's sin. Yeah, like, you know, there's some sins you commit, it has to affect your generation. Like, what you do affects your lineage. Like, they are coming from you. So, like, what's all being regarding of Eden now if Adam didn't sin? So I felt what he did actually affected us. I don't know if I'm right, but I think I am. So please guys, you are open to correct me in the comment section. Let's get back into this. And this is your father Adam, you know what he did? So he God punishes us for that. He said, no, he won't do that. Neither the son, son bear the iniquity of the father. Ne the father shall not bear the iniquity of the son, neither shall the son bear the iniquity of the father. God Almighty will not ask Adam, he said, look at your children. 25 million sodomites, you call them gays, gays in America. God will not ask Adam and yeah. he will not ask us what Adam and Eve did. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. That is the law of God. But if the wicked will turn from all the sins that he has committed, means he asks for forgiveness and repents and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. 
that is Islam. That is Islam. You pay for your sins, I pay for mine. Nobody, nobody pays for anybody's sins. But the Christian believes that he must, somebody must pay for his sins. So he wants to pass the buck on to Jesus. You know, make things easy for himself. He can do what he likes, but Christ paid for it. No, no. And J Jimmy Swaggart, he said, the greater the sin, the greater the redemption. If you, what kind of redemption is it? Jesus Christ, I stole somebody's pin, his spin. And Jesus pays for that. For my parking ticket, he pays for that. What has he done? Huh? But for Hitler's sins, on account of him, 40 million people died in the Second World War. If Jesus pays for that, that is something. If he pays for Peter Sutcliffe, he raped and ripped 13 women, and Jesus pays for that, that will be something. Get the idea? The greater the sin, the greater the redemption. What philosophy is this? Hmm. Guys. <laughs> oh. <sighs> to be honest, I feel Jesus actually paid for the sin. Oh, this this is me being a Christian now speaking because I had I have to oppose this. You know, I feel Jesus paid for our sin. He said that he came to die for us. I don't know why you guys believe he died for us. Okay, let me say, Haka, <laughs> I'm kind of this. Like, Jesus came down. Okay, God sent Jesus. The main reason of him coming was to die for us. Because we were going, like, I feel the world was going astray and God sent someone down here to, like, set the world in order because i feel way back then they were doing stuff like sacrifice when you commit a sin you have to sacrifice maybe a cow or something to well god came to be the mediator like the blood you have to spare isn't necessary when you have jesus but jesus is already there he died so his blood actually speaks for us when we ask God for forgiveness through Jesus who died. It's like us, it's like he sacrificed himself for us to be able to connect to God. Because sin, we are humans and everyone does sin. So I feel Jesus is here based on that fact. So we can actually use his name. Because he died for us, his blood was shed. So we can use his name to get to God. I feel, you say Christians worship Jesus. I feel people who do that, I feel we give him the respect. He died for us. It's not, that's the greatest love of all. We need to die for someone, guys. It's written in the Bible, like, so we give him that respect and we pray through his name and we believe he is the son of God. So, like, we, some people worship him. We all worship him. Yeah. To be honest, we all worship him, but we understand that. We understand the fact that God is supreme. We worship God, we pray to God through His name as the mediator. So I feel people kind of miss, like, they kind of switch it sometimes. They get lost in if they're calling God. Because we Christians believe that Jesus, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, they are equal. You understand? So we, we have that mentality. So, we believe that oh, they are equal human beings. So if we pray, we actually pray to God through Jesus' name. I feel this is what we Christians believe in. And I just felt I should clarify it. Guys, this is an amazing guy. Like, I love, I love the fact he's really calm. Like, I love when someone is trying to correct you or trying to show you his worldview with this kind of calm manner. Like, the way he's talking and expressing himself, like the way he's trying to teach people, it's, it's amazing. Like to be honest, like the way he's teaching people, like he's teaching you with that love. Like I can see it, I can feel it. It's amazing. Like I wish I was there to listen to him, guys, because it, it is amazing. Guys, don't you like, share, subscribe to my channel, guys. 
make sure you check out Koei guys they made this outfit possible and they actually make this video possible guys i'll see you next time guys first